I'm uh, Alan Shane from Amarillo, Texas. We've done everything the banks has developed onto this truck to uh, make it last longer and also to give me better fuel economy. We did the uh, heater screen delete, big monster ram, boost tubes, their Techno Cooler, then we did their big ram air intake and the boost tube. Did it myself. I could do another one right here in the parking lot. Uh, the reasons for the mods were to l get longevity out of the motor, get better fuel economy, especially we're hitting almost $5 a gallon out here in California. Not as bad as in Texas, but I have to drive out here for work. Um, the other thing was to get the engine to perform better and also to um, allow it to maintain the emission control devices and keep uh, in compliance with the law. And banks allowed us to do that. Are you just showing off? What's going on? Yeah, we hook bumpers together. I'd tear his truck in half. Don't tell him that. <laughs> uh, she weighs over close to 11,000 pounds with the wheels, the brakes, um, the extra fuel tanks that we've installed. We've got the pedal monster, we got the diff cooler, and we also have their um, exhaust system that comes off the DPF filter to increase uh, back pressure reduction. I've noticed that when I'm pulling a hill with just just the empty truck, it doesn't have to downshift like it did before, coming up like Inca Pa or, or the Cajon Pass, it just cruises up. Um, I noticed that it just ha it's peppier. I guess that's a good word, peppier. Um, my friend goes, that's kind of a funny word. And I'm like, yeah, it's peppier. It just feels, it feels, the truck feels lighter now. It's, um, and plus we've increased our fuel economy by 100%. Um, before we were getting 12 to 10, just driving it around without anything done to the truck. Uh, everything I've done to the truck is to increase fuel economy and reduce my cost for my customers. We're running around 19.9 miles per gallon. And that was from LA, or from San Diego to LA, uh, Azusa, I guess here, it's not LA, but um, LA area. Um, and I got 21.9, and I kept the speed limit to the legal limit. You know, normally out in Texas, our speed limit's at 80, um, and then everywhere else is 75 uh, on the interstates. Another thing I noticed with Banks products is uh, when you open the box and you go, oh crap, I gotta go to the store and get me, I don't know, say Loctite, or a wrench or something, it, it's minor. I mean, but where I live in the country, it's two hours to town to go to get parts. And when I opened the box of this Monster Ram, it had a wrench, it had Loctite, it had extra screws and nuts that you wouldn't expect that were in there. And I was so relieved when I opened the box and pulled everything out to check the contents that it actually had the Loctite, the little wrench you needed, and it, just the little things like that, I think what makes the bank's products a lot better than others, because they think beyond what the installer has to do in order to put this equipment on their vehicle. In actuality, the amount of money that I spent on their products, they could charge double. Don't, don't tell Gail that. <laughs> um, but the thing is, is the price point was right there with everybody else and you get the higher quality and you know it's gonna last forever, and you know it's gonna work correctly. Other than taking the truck apart on the bottom and figuring out all the little clips, and what was nice is they gave you extra clips. That's the other thing. I, I thought I had to go to the dealership and get clips. I opened the box up, there was the clips. I mean, it's stuff like that that really makes it even more valuable um, as, a, as a product. All right, so right now you are in City 6. Let's see how you like it. Let's do it. And we've got the adjustable, uh, the speed base trim about halfway. So it yeah, starts, it good. starts dialing it in, adding sensitivity around I after 10 like miles an hour. About 10 miles an hour. Yeah. Let's bump it up. Let's get that into a sport mode. Sport. Oh, that's track. You want to go track? Yeah. yeah. Oh, geez. Let's go full. See if we need a new drive shaft after this. <laughs> Truck's got 102,000 miles on it. Oh, dang, it's touchy. 
Now remember, we have the uh, speed base trim. Let's turn that off. Hold on. Let's turn off the speed base trim. There you go. Go to settings. Go to settings. Yep, go and turn off the speed base trim. That'll make sure, there you go, down to- Zero. Down to zero, yep, perfect. And so now you have full added sensitivity right off the line. It's like a sports car now. <laughs> you let off of it, this keeps going, that's kind of scary. <laughs> that's fun. Wow, freaking thing goes like my Corvette, that's crazy. So what's nice is like when you're drag racing, you want to get that boost pressure up. The problem is this truck. <laughs> we can't keep traction. <laughs> That's too fun. I didn't think it'd do all that. That's crazy. It's pretty cool being able to see, you know, the input versus what we're commanding. You know, you give it a little throttle, you can see it, right, in real time. And it kind of, the gauge is representing like their iDash system. I guess it can go on the iDash, right? Absolutely, yeah. A lot of our customers use it, use the iDash. They'll have an iDash mounted up here where you've got your travel, your logger. Oh, right? okay. And put that it way, like right here. Exactly. Yeah, put it in your pillar. All so, right, so right now you are in Sport 3. Let's try Sport All 3. All right, let's do it. that fourth gear is going to one. <laughs> it just goes and goes 65 miles an hour in less than a quarter mile. Go ahead and stop. And I want you to put it in reverse. All right. And then I want you to look down here. You see that little blinking blue light? You are now in stock throttle. It knew you put it in reverse. Oh yeah. That's stock nice. throttle. Yeah, no more uh, jerky throttle to go into the trailer so that you can control it because you don't need it to adjust. Yeah, it's the, it up. is the only throttle booster on the market that knows when you're in reverse and returns you to stock throttle. Yeah, that's nice because when you're hooking up the gooseneck, I've only got three inches to clear the toolbox. And, and, um, and so that's crazy that uh, some of the other ones would have you almost tear up your truck backing into not it. some all oh yeah exactly and then no and we have the patent on that oh wow literally that's that's that's, that's patented. Cool. reverse safety is patented that's nice yep yeah so there's another reason to buy the product because that way you don't back up and tear off a $1,200 tailgate this truck when I first got it with the little tires you could do 74 miles an hour put the 36 inch tires we were gonna re-gear it and so then I needed to just maintain the torque and the power and the more and more stuff that we did with the bank stuff just increased the miles per gallon. Um, and that's, that's amazing in itself. Plus it's a... Get the traction control to go on. <laughs> that's fun.